On the vacuum tooling, there are two knobs on each uh, suction cup bar to be able to adjust the suction cups in or out, wherever they want to be, and just turn them to lock them into place. That's on both sides. Uh, there is a uh, vacuum gauges visible to the operator uh, for each of the zones, left one, left zone, right zone, right side, right zone there. Um, you want to make sure you got the vacuum going well on there. Um, these are your hoses going out to each one of the cups, but each cup is zoned, each two cups are zoned together. Um, you got a simple up-down controller. And then you have one button to hit vacuum, turns it on, and you have two buttons to release, and that has a blow-off, and you have about 15 seconds to blow off away from the panel to be able to uh, release. Um, on the lifter, you have an adjustable handlebar, raise it up and down. Battery pack is located here. You have a brake rod down between the lifter legs. Push the brakes are on. Middle, free swivel. Pull it up. That will lock the rear casters in line so you can take it wherever you need to. Um, there is a slip clutch on the lifter so when you come down to the panel you will hear clicking. That is a good thing. It will keep it from driving over. You hear the clicking. That is a slip clutch so it doesn't drive a lifter over. So you can hold the button down. It will not drive the lifter over when you hit the panel. Um, in the upper, there's a spring uh, stop at the top, so you will not damage anything if it goes all the way up. Um, that's about it with the lifter.